No, let me stop before I get before I get uh and push. I don't want no trouble, G. Hey <laughs> yo, what's going on, man? Hey, thanks for joining me on this inaugural episode of In the Basement with BC. Yeah. In the basement with BC. That's what we're gonna be calling this. So anyway, first things first. Thanks for joining me, man. Let's just let me say that. Thanks for joining me right now. I, I do appreciate all of you guys. You've been watching my videos for a while. Hats off to you, man. Salute. I salute. Anyway, we here today to talk about what's in my pack for the end of 2022. Let me get out of my country vibe. <laughs> I'm tripping. Uh, so in 2022, I upgraded my headlamp. I went from this Duracell, which this shit is a, this this thing is a great headlamp, man. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, it's done me very very well. I've had numerous experiences. I have like six of these around the house. The one thing I hate about this or or the the, the disadvantage of, to, of this headset, the disadvantage of this headlamp is its weight and the fact that it has batteries. Other than that, it's super bright. Um, let's see, has uh, two side, well, three, three different, uh, three different settings, I said, and plus it has this super cool, like you know, wide angle setting, so that it increases your field of view. That thing is dope. I love that headlamp, and like I said, it was three for twenty bucks at Costco. I'm not using that headlamp on backpacking trips because I have upgraded, quote unquote, upgraded to the Einstein or well, the Nebo Einstein 400. Hey, this is a dope little lamp. I'm not going to lie. Um, it doesn't have as many settings as the, the Duracell one from Costco it has that and it has that, uh, but it, it has that's one, two, and then has oh shucks, boom three. This is the this is supposed to be the quote unquote wide lens, and then it also has your red light. You know, you ever needed red light? That is it's pretty awesome, and it's half the weight, literally half the weight of the Duracell one here. There was Duracell one did great, but it's just it's time for me to kind of get my bulk down. I'm not ultra light. I shall never, I won't be ultra light until I am 50. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you 50 plus, you should be ultra light. You've earned a life that makes it so you should be ultra light. If you're under 50, pay your dues. Yeah, pay your dues. But anyway, I digress for another video. So also this headlamp was 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Yeah, come and, and all of these other headlamps that you can see for like 40, 50, but I can't pay 50 bucks for a headlamp. I mean, there's some stuff that I'm going to pay up for. <laughs> We're going to talk about it, but a headlamp is not one of those things. So one of those things that I am going to pay up for. Stove. <laughs> Another thing I'll be up for. And this this stove actually weighs more than this stove. Go figure. So I increased it. I think it was like what 20 grams or something like that. Yeah. So like 20 grams. What I what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is the jet boil. I hate saying that I bought the jet boil. I hate saying that. Jet boil mighty mode. It is, I don't know, 3.3 .3 ounces. Um, a little cool little stove. It has this this little regulator thing on it. So apparently, this is supposed to make it so it performs great up down into the lower temperatures. I think on the website it says twenty degrees. I haven't tested it at twenty degrees Fahrenheit. We will <laughs> coming up. Um, but the reason I went ahead and upgraded from this, I don't know. I can't remember which one. But I've seen a lot of people call it the Ozark Trail one um, on the ASO or whatever. It's thing on Amazon. It's a little dope little stove, especially for a beginner. It's a great stove for a beginner. Um, 
but and it's a great stove for the spring late spring and summer <laughs> and this is not a, a, a four season stove it's it it's not stable um which i can get a, i can get around that that's not a problem but the thing i hate about this stove is it's it doesn't very it doesn't regulate very it doesn't work very well in the cold at all um and it's non-existent in the wind if there's any any wind at all forget about it you're not getting any hot water let alone trying to cook something cook what what no nah, not at all so i had to go ahead and upgrade it and since i spent absolutely no money on this i think this was like two dollars two years ago and or something like that man something crazy um i did have a problem spending 60 bucks on this i still have a problem spending 60 bucks on this it's not really worth it but inflation miss uh, inflation inflation Godly. stop buying stuff if they stop if we stop <laughs> you shut up <laughs> you shut up anyway what's next man what's next man? anyway the next piece of gear I want to talk about is my chair. Hey, look, <laughs> dog, this chair, this chair right here. Like, honestly, any chair you get is going to be awesome. You're not going to be able to, you, you're going to, as soon as you spend the money. And I I understand it's a luxury. It's, it's definitely a luxury item and not everyone can afford a chair but if you can oh man if you can afford a one pound chair bro i mean it's gonna change everything you know about camping i, I promise you like i was blown away at um just <sighs> the comfort the the level of comfort that it provides far exceeds the amount of prices you pay for it that's all i got to say about that um if you find any value thanks you thanks for watching so far if you find any value in this video please give me a like if you're not subscribed i know most of you probably are go ahead and hit that like and subscribe what's next oh water filters water filters here's what i'm going to say about water filters look um with the b free which is what i have here uh the catadine or catadine that's this the sawyer squeeze whether it's the mini or the regular one um the platypus quick draw those all, all three of these, all three of those types are have these, the membrane type of filter. So what happens is after a while, these are gonna get clogged. They're gonna get clogged and the flow rate is going to go down. Honestly, I just stick with the Sawyer squeeze. Uh, the way that this flow rate has diminished after like, I don't know, three or four uses. And granted, there were three or four uses, no. I didn't use it. I bought it. I didn't use it for a long time. Then I finally used it twice, I think. And it was just, you know, I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to go back to it. I want to try the quick draw um, just because I haven't tried it. I haven't, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't tried it um, just because it's one of those that I haven't tried yet. I'm going to, I would, I would love to try it. And just just to see if I like it better than uh, if it works better than uh, Sawyer. Uh, but honestly, I think the Sawyer is where I said I'm just gonna the Sawyer and the Cenoc bag. I don't think there's any better combination than that. That's just my opinion, though. I've only been doing this shit for a couple years. Don't take me seriously. <laughs> anyway, what else? Most important updates. Uh, remember my last video or my last trip I had this rant about plastics and polyester and nylon and stuff 
on my body right now, I have a smart wool base layer hoodie and I love it. Listen, this shit was super expensive, way too expensive. To be completely honest, I should not have bought it. It was that expensive. And there's no reason for them to charge that much money. It's like paying $700, $600 for a Z Pack tent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's not what I want to do. Um, but at the same time, I understand that plastics are ruining the earth. All of these, and if they don't, if we don't buy it, they won't make it, ladies and gentlemen. I promise you that. So, and then at the same token, if we buy it, they'll continue to make it. So, <laughs> shocks. It's catch 22, man. Catch 22. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to try to use less polyesters, um, more, more real material, more merino wool, more. I'm going to look into hemp too. I haven't really looked into it. Uh, I know Patagonia has some hemp clothing, but I'm going to look at more natural fibers. Um, and I'm not scared of cotton in the summertime. I'm going to put it like that. I'm not, I'm not scared of cotton in the wintertime. You just don't get, don't get wet. Don't get wet. They say cotton kills. Just don't get wet. Don't sweat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus Christ. But anyway, I think that's about it for this one, man. Um, that's basically what's in my pack. Um, there's some other stuff, some knickknacks and everything, but yeah, you know, I don't really want to talk about that. We'll talk about that stuff when we out in the field, man. Um, so again, I'll let me, man. Peace.